I got a video for you today on TIG welding aluminum. I'm going to talk a little bit more about the effect that gas flow rate has on the cleaning action. You want a clean puddle when you're TIG welding aluminum. That's what makes it fun. If it's a milky puddle, if there's oxides or pepper floating around in the puddle, just, it's just not as fun. This is the Prime Weld 325 that I'm using today. And just like a lot of newer machines, it has an AC balance feature that adjusts the cleaning action. I'm going to set it to 31% cleaning for this little test I'm going to show you. I'm going to be using a number 7 cup, and I'm going to start off with 30 CFH. Most manuals on ball style flow meters will tell you to read the center of the ball. So all I'm going to do is very quickly puddle at about 100 amps and hold the torch still just to check that cleaning path. You can see that's quite a big cleaning path. So I'm going to set it to 25 and do the same thing and I'll work all the way down to 10. My rule of thumb is 2 to 3 CFH per cup size but there's nothing like a test to prove it out. So now I'm on 20 CFH and we can see already it's starting to get a little bit smaller. The cleaning action is, is less. Now we go down to 15 and it's much less. So now we're going to go all the way down to 10 CFH and give that a quick try. Hold the torch still. You can see I've hardly got any. I didn't touch the, the cleaning action on the AC balance, but I got a way different result on cleaning action due to flow rate. And that's because your cleaning action will typically only go where there's good argon coverage. There's a lot of difference between 10 CFH and 30 CFH, but not much difference between 25 and 30. So I went ahead and settled in right around 25 CFH because you can also have problems if you go too high on argon, especially with aluminum. Now let's weld the joint on 6061 316 inch thick. And I'm going to settle in, like I said, around 25 CFH on the flow meter. I'll be using Washington alloy, 1 8 diameter 5356 aluminum filler metal and 1 8 diameter 2% lanthanated tungsten that I sharpened to kind of a blunt taper that I could also use for like thick steel. And that tip will round just a little bit as I weld here at around 200 amps. If I'm kind of more pushing the limits on a certain electro diameter, a lot of times I will round the tip myself a little bit using a high cleaning action on AC balance, but more often than not, I'll just let it round how it wants to round. The puddle is coming along nicely. It's, it's, it's a nice clean puddle. It's flowing like it should. There's really not very much of an etch zone outside that bead. I could go up with cleaning action just a little bit and improve that, but the puddle's clean. That's the main thing. And for me, that makes TIG welding aluminum a whole lot more fun. So here's a little review of the settings used. I was right at 200 amps using 120 hertz AC balance set to 31% cleaning. I was using 25 CFH argon with a number 7 clear cup, and that made for a nice clean weld. All right, next is the very first aluminum weld I did with this machine on quarter inch thick. I set the AC frequency a little bit lower, like 60 hertz on this joint. Well, my very first joint with the Prime Weld 325, I just set the amperage all the way to 325 and used the foot pedal, but I did put a camera on the amperage readout while I was welding. I used 1 8 2% lanthanated with a number 6 cup and gas lens. Sometimes I find it helpful to go low on the frequency on thicker aluminum, so I set the AC frequency all the way down to 50, and you'll be able to hear that. All right, here we go. Hear that much lower pitched hum? It's going to do okay, and it kind of helps the arc to fan out a little bit and wrap those corners on a thick outside corner joint like this. But the main benefit is if you're limited on amperage, you can get more heat input out of your machine at a lower frequency. At least that's been my experience. This is a number six pink cup, a pink ceramic cup. I'm at about 230 to 250 amps here, but it's doing just fine. Main difference is you can see the, the clear cup lit things up a little bit better than this pink cup, but you don't always need that. I use clear cups so frequently because I find it makes a better arc shot and it helps me see better. Before we go, I just want to say thank you for your support. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for leaving a comment. Thanks for hitting that thumbs up button if you like the video. I really, I really enjoyed contributing to the welding community over the years, and I'm going to continue to do that as long as I can. Uh, right now, it's, it's, I'm editing videos that I had in the can before I went in the hospital. 
but I'm going through, still going through some chemo treatments. I've got a bone marrow transplant lined up, and, uh, but I can still do this. I can still talk welding. I'm still interested. I'm still in the game. I've still got gas left in the tank. So it really helps me when I hear encouraging words and thank you for your thoughts and prayers. So that said, we'll see you next time.